record. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys so much for being on. Um, I have a few announcements before we kind of get into the meat of the call. Um, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. Um, okay. So there are a few things going on um, that we just need to get the word out. We'll make a post about this later in the group as well. But just so you know right now, um, just make sure everybody is muted, please. Um, okay, so um, April 11th, so that's three weeks from today. April 11th, um, we're going to do a team-wide, and this is for – this is not mandatory. This is for anyone who wants to or feels like they need it. Um, if you don't want to participate, you don't have to. Um, but we just thought that it would be fun to do like a team wide challenge group um, for anyone to put their participants into. Um, and we're, we're not going to have every coach who's in there um, be leading it as far as like making official posts for the day. We're just going to have like one or two or maybe three, maybe three coaches leading the group, but um, anyone can put people in the group. It'll be a 30 day group. Um, and just to kind of get a big fun challenge group together, if you have people in that group, then you will have to be engaged, like very, very engaged in the group. Um, just so that your, your people know that you're there and that you are um, basically that you're revealing yourself as a coach. You're showing your coaching abilities by just being encouraged in the group, but not officially making posts. Okay. Um, so that's April 11th. So you have until April 10th to get people to join this challenge group. And again, this is not mandatory. It's just something fun. We thought it'd be fun to have the whole team do something together. And um, just, it's fun to have these big challenge groups sometimes. Um, another thing about this group is it's going to be on the, um, the challenge app. So the My Challenge app. Um, so we're going to give that a go. And for any of you who are, if that makes you nervous, it makes me nervous. <laughs> Because I haven't used it yet, but um, tonight or tomorrow, uh, I'm going to – Kaylee raised her hand. <laughs> okay. I've never seen that before. I just wanted to say, I did some research after talking about that, Audrey, and only one, I think only one coach at a time can host a challenge group on the app. On the app? Yeah. Um, only so just something we need to look at, I think. Yeah, so we're going to have to work out some kinks with that. Um, Maybe we'll do a Facebook group for this one and just like do a because okay, so either way, um, okay, I have to press this button that says to lower your hand. Sorry. <laughs> <Lower it. laughs> um, so maybe we'll do a Facebook group. Um, but either way, we're definitely going to get a challenge group app group going for just us coaches so that we can get a feel for it, um, see how it works. Uh, I know there are a lot of really cool things about that app where it can send reminders out to like they get a ding on their phone to remind them to work out and you can see like when they're doing their workouts because they actually log like workout done check and Shakeology check like they you can see who's doing what in that app so it's really cool so we'll get one for the team just to see how it works um, and then the big group on the 11th well we can decide you know in a We'll, we'll work through it this week, and then if by next Monday we're like, okay, we need to do a Facebook group, then we can do a Facebook group. Or if we're like, okay, I think we can make the app work, then we'll try the app. Um, but just so everybody knows, on the 11th, we'll do a big team-wide um, challenge group with prep week starting on the 11th, okay? Um, okay, um, last week, if you were on the team call or if you watched the recording, Katria mentioned about something about our team website that is that we've been working on um, so if you heard her talk about that or you didn't um, just a reminder that we need your information um, to put into the website before so that it can actually be created um, so we need headshots we need um, any transformation photos that you have of yourself um, 
your story, anything about why you became a coach, um, about your niche market, who like things that kind of define you, who you are. Um, if you're a mom, if you're, um, if you are full time, if you have a full time job, if you, you know, whatever it is, if you live in the city, if you live in the country, like whatever it is, things that kind of define who you are. Um, and when you became a coach, when you signed up, and your current rank. Um, but just some information so that we can start piecing this together because there's going to be different pages on the website um, that are for different things. So we're gonna have like a transformation page so people can go to our website and they can click on like knockout transformations and they can see all of our transformations. And then like meet, meet the knockouts or something like that will be another tab and it'll have just all of our bios with a headshot next to it. Um, and then we're also going to have just a team coach portal that is going to be password protected um, that we are also going to be uploading the training there. So that'll be another way to get the training information. Um, so anyway, we have a lot that we want to do with this website and it's really going to be awesome when it gets done. Um, and we've tried to do it in the past and, and just had a hard time getting people to turn in their information. But this is for the whole team. It's not going to be like, my website. It's not going to be Katria's website. It's going to be for the team to use if you're doing promotional things and you just want people to get an idea of what we do. Your contact information, everyone's contact information will be on there next to your bio and everything. So it's not, um, it's going to be for everybody. Um, so get that stuff in as soon as possible. Um, Audrey, did, is that listed somewhere or was it on, is it on one of one of the past Zoom calls that Katria goes through it all? Yeah, so last week Katria kind okay. of ran down some of the details. Okay. Um, I think she said, Katria, I can't see you, but um, I think she said she was gonna make a document with the information all written out um, so that everybody knows exactly what they need to send in. Um, okay. Yeah, and if you want to, like, you can send it in, and we can help you, you know, word it so that it flows on the page, you know what I mean, so that everyone's kind of works together, and no one's kind of looks weird, or I don't know what, but but we'll just have to, you know, revise things and make sure that it, it all works, but, um, but just to kind of get the rough draft stuff in. Um, but yeah, Katria, I don't know if you can... I, you are there, but I can't see you, but just, you know, we'll have to, I know she knows exactly what we want for this. So she can, can you, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, yes, I will, I will post that up. I was thinking of doing like an album in, in the team page or even just directly emailing it to me. Um, but I want to post up a sample too. Yeah. 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 It'll be posted in the team page. <laughs> okay. 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 Awesome. Okay. Um, another thing that I wanted to bring up as a team wide thing is um, doing a team wide personal development book together. Um, and actually, I was talking a lot with Kaylee on the cruise last week. Um, and she had told me about this book called the energy bus and I've heard about it before and um, I just, I've never read it before, but she's reading it right now and she was telling me about it and I just, I really want to read it. And I really think that it would be an awesome book for the team to read. And maybe you've read it before. Um, if you have, that's awesome. If you want to read it again with us, then go for it. Otherwise you don't, need to do this but I just thought you know for something to do together to read this book um, we can post about it in the team page and kind of have an outline for how much we go through each day or I don't know how we want to run it but um, starting next Monday so if you order um, within the next couple days like on Amazon or something then you should get it in time to start on Monday and we can just work through the book together so the book is really about um, positive, po having a positive attitude and here like the, um, so it's the energy bus, 10 rules to fuel your life, work and team with positive energy. So, um, 
I think we all could use that. I mean, honestly, that's mindset is everything. And um, this book is going to just hit it right where I think, you know, I know I need to be lifted up. Sometimes it's hard, you know, to constantly be on the ball and be um, optimistic about things. So um, anyway, so we'll be doing that. Anyone who wants to participate is free to do so. It'd be great. The more the merrier. Um, order your book, The Energy Bus. And I think I might get the audio version and um, listen to it. But however it is that works for you, get the book and you can join us. So, um, okay. So any questions about that, the announcement so far? Feel free to unmute yourself if you have a question. Okay. Um, hold on. My throat is... Okay, so speaking of mindset. Okay, so I have a couple things that I just wanted to touch on and they're so random and like not cohesive things that I wanna talk about, but um, I just felt like I wanted to talk about them tonight. So both of these things are, I kind of think about these team calls and anytime you're doing personal development, kind of like going to church, like you're gonna hear things that's, it's the truth, and it can be hard to hear sometimes and it can be convicting and it can make you look at the way you've been doing things and it can make you reevaluate what you've been doing. And, um, but that kind of conviction that hits you in your core, um, it, if you actually do something about it, it's what makes you better. Right. So, um, some of the things, I mean, this is really, I'm talking about in general, um, talking about mindset and I'm going to talk a little bit about social media, but, um, I really want everybody to just have an open mind and, um, be coachable. Take if this, if this, anything that I say speaks to you, then uh, I guess just approach this with the attitude of, okay, I'm, if this, if I'm doing what she's saying, then I need to change. And this is not, personal. This is not, um, uh, this is not an attack on anybody. I really am. These are things that I've been hearing over and over again and actually was hearing on the top 10 panel as we were listening and, and in other trainings that I've been listening to from top coaches and stuff. So these are just things that I feel like are good for everybody to hear. Um, so mindset, um, so we're talking about the energy bus. And so I was thinking, okay, who's driving your bus, right? You have a positive driver and you have a negative driver. And you need to recognize when the negative driver is driving. Because um, although you can tell the difference when the positive driver is driving and the negative driver is driving, it's not always blatantly obvious. So the positive driver is confident, um, proactive, enthusiastic, optimistic, um, sees the potential success in situations, and the negative driver is fearful, um, not confident, and inactive, and sees the potential problems in situations. Um, so they seem like black and white, but it can actually be kind of hard to identify when the negative driver is driving your bus. And um, so um, the negative driver can be sneaky and it can disguise herself. So um, it's not always blatantly negative. Like when, when someone's just saying something that's just like, okay, you're, you're being a negative Nelly. Like that's pretty obvious. But for example, sometimes um, the negative driver is exposed through our speech. So um, just the words we choose to use and we might not realize it, but that's the negative driver driving our bus. So for example, when you say I'll try, so anything that you, I, I'll try or I hope to do fill in the blank. So I'll try to hit success club this month. I hope to be diamond by summit. Um, it doesn't sound like blatantly negative, but when you actually break it down, those words are stemming from the fear that we have and what the negative driver is fearful. So we don't want, we want to give ourselves an out when we don't hit those goals. So the positive, when you actually contrast that with what the positive driver would say, the positive driver would say, 
I, I will hit success club or I am a success club earner. I will be diamond by summit. And it sounds kind of silly, but our words and our thoughts and our actions are so connected. So when you change little things like the words that you use, the simple words that you use, and this is something that I was so guilty of and still am today. I, I catch myself, but the thing is you get better and better at recognizing that negative driver and you catch yourself more easily. So I didn't even realize it before when I used to use language like that, but it was fear. It was fear coming, eeping through in the language that I was using. So when you look at what the words that you use, how you're talking about what you're doing in your life or in your business, everyday life, what kind of language are you using? Um, if you have a big goal and you want to hit it, go at that goal with confidence, with that positive driver driving. Um, so I wanted to just point that out because I feel like it starts there. It starts with, I hope, or I I tr I'll try. I'll try to be on the team call. I'll try to do this or that. Um, and then it can, if we're not careful, if we don't catch that negative driver and we don't switch drivers right away, it can, it can just go downhill from there. Um, so that's all I really wanted to say about mindset. Just be aware of who's driving your bus. Um, but, okay, so like I said, this is kind of a random call, but um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is social media, and just really quick, I wanted to hit on some things um, about how we post about our workouts and stuff, because I know a huge part of what we do is being accountable to yourself and, and the workouts and your own personal journey. So how do we do that without throwing up the same darn post every single day, right? You want to share that you've done your workout. And I was actually talking with Kaylee about this on the, on the cruise. And that's what kind of got me thinking about talking about it on the team calls because she was saying that she really wanted to be, she, she wanted to get back into doing her workouts daily. Cause that's something that she struggles with and that's something that a lot of us struggle with. Um, and she wanted to be accountable on her public social media, but she was, a, she was worried that she would just be doing like the same selfie every single time after her workout. So um, I think a lot of us kind of get into this rut. And um, so some guidelines to just help you freshen up your page and keep it new and fresh. Um, so just ask yourself, when you look at your page, if you yourself would be drawn to the pictures that you're posting, um, do you find it motivating? Do you think you look confident? Do you think you are um, drawing people in with the images that you're using? Um, so there are other ways also that you can be posting about your workout. You don't always have to take a selfie, right? I mean, the selfie is easy and um, we all do it, um, but you don't have to do it every single time. So, um, you know, you can find different ways to talk about your workout. You can maybe take a shower and get ready for your day first and then take a picture of yourself and say, just talk about your morning and how you got your workout done and your breakfast is in and you're showered and ready for your day. And that's a different kind of take on the post. You still got the message out that you did your workout. Um, you can post a picture of your dog and how your dog was watching you do your workout or something. You can take, take a picture of your shoes and talk about how your, how, you know, whatever shoes you're wearing are good for your workout. Or if you work out barefoot, um, there's different things you can do, different angles you can use. Um, and it doesn't have to just be a post that's just saying, I did my workout. It can be some other thought along with that. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to get really motivated and inspired when I work out. And I just think about like a phrase or a motivational saying while I'm working out. And I'll kind of use that as my inspiration for my workout post of the day. Um, so go with a deeper thought and, and then also hint at the fact that you did your workout. 
Um, so it doesn't always have to be the same type of same, same type of um, of post. Um, another thing that, and this was actually said at the top ten panel on the cruise, and the whole place was packed with people, and everybody like went in this uproar and started applauding. So. Amy Silverman, I think it was her. She is like so blunt and so she does not care <laughs> what anyone thinks of her. And she was just like, stop putting like crazy colorful frames on your pictures. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have done that before. Anyway, it's so tempting with all these apps. And, and like I said, everybody was like, yeah, stop doing that. And everyone's like, yeah, because it's so tempting when, you know, we have these apps and you have all these fun ways to decorate your stuff and you can put a pretty little like image, like little flower or something, I don't know, and then write all over it and then put the, the frame, be some sort of wallpaper type frame. And she was like, don't do that. Nobody, it doesn't look professional. It doesn't, and, and I was like, oh my gosh, she's right. It doesn't. So um, unless, I mean, if you are doing what you're doing on social media and you're like, this is awesome, I'm killing it with my social media, then just be like, don't, don't listen to me, okay? But if you feel like you can improve with your social media, then, and if you're doing any of these things, <laughs> then maybe take this um, to heart because clean cut and simple wins every time every single time. Um, and I think actually when Kelsey was on our call a while back, she was talking about a lot about social media and posting and, you know, she doesn't even write on her photos anymore. Um, and I know I've kind of moved away from that also. I'll still do it every now and then, but, um, but yeah, like clean cut and simple and eye catching, just good pictures, different angles, um, get creative. Um, but if you're going to have a border or some sort of collage, make it a solid color. White is awesome. It's an awesome color. It works really well. It looks very nice and clean and professional. Um, it's not as fun maybe, but um, that's what you're going for. You're, you want people to be attracted to your pictures. Um, okay, another thing I just wanted to post about and this or to talk about, this is not – really about your images necessarily, but just a, just a reminder that um, we need to remember what it's like for other people who haven't started their fitness journey yet um, because we, we're in it, right? Like we get it. We understand why it's important. We know how badass it feels to finish a, an awesome workout. Um, other people have a lot of uncertainty and fear and hesitation about it and and or they they probably don't really know all the reasons why they should be working out so have a have a nice balance of tough hardcoreness and compassion right um because we want to make sure that we see we, we show people the way that we feel because we feel like, yeah, I can conquer the world. But then we also understand that it wasn't always like that maybe for us and for other people who are following us, they might not be at that place and they might not relate to us just feeling like we're awesome. So relate, connect with those people on their level and remember what it felt like um, maybe before you started working out or making that a habit. Um, and if you never experienced that, um, then you have probably worked with people and have learned from other people about what that feels like and the fear and hesitation that they have um, when, they, when they just haven't had a lifestyle like that before. Um, so those are pretty much what I had down for you guys today. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's like such a random call, <laughs> like talking about mindset and then random um, posting tips. So, um, but anyway, anybody have any questions or input or anything like that? Anything to add? Hey guys, this is Bobby. Uh, I heard something pretty interesting the other day 
um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with like the Navy SEALs and how they train, but it was kind of cool. I heard that, um, like, you know how they have the opportunity to go ring the bell and then go home, something like that or another. Uh, I guess supposedly there's like a, a statistic that even if they start to think about it and they get up to go, but they go back and they sit back down, they always inevitably um, get up and quit at some point or another. So I thought that was huge, you know, because you always think that um, anyhow. So I just point out that the mindset is a huge part of this. So I was, I was really liking what you're saying. Thanks, Bobby. Yeah. I had no idea that um, there was anything like that with Navy SEALs where they had, is it like if they ring the bell, then that means they're, they quit. I'll tell you about it. Cause I know a couple of them, they ring the bell and they're done. They're out, they're processed out of buds within a week. And then they're processed to do something else in the Navy, which is usually a really shitty job because <laughs> most, well, most of them don't have another right, another job that they do. So they have, they go in and they, get whatever is left on the board basically mm. wow that's very interesting very interesting and they'll never be accepted into another special ops unit after that because i know a couple that have also rung the bell and they pretty much ruined their career at that point don't reach for the bell don't even think about the bell <laughs> Yes, I love it. Thanks for sharing that, Bobby. Yes, and I mean, I didn't talk about this in as far as mindset goes, but we all know that you cannot quit if you want to go anywhere with this business. And so like Bobby and Jordan were saying, don't that bell means that you're quitting. So if you're even thinking about hitting that button and hitting that bell, um, Maybe you need to ring, read the energy bus. <laughs> so we'll all be reading that together. <laughs> I think that's a great book. I, I, I think I'm, I don't know, about 100 pages in, and I, I love it. I think, um, I think we all struggle with being positive at some point in our life, whether it's um, your, your kids are being brats that day or, or your husband's driving you crazy or, or whatever it is, then – that I think has a has a tendency to snow have a snowball effect on, on our day or on our life, and um, I always say, and I know we've all heard this before, but you have to fake it till you make it, right? So if you are one of those negative people, then then you have to force yourself to be positive and think positive all the time until it's second nature for you. It's not easy for me, and I'm not always positive, but I'm definitely getting better at it. And I think reading this book has really helped me um, just in the last week since I started reading it. So I think it's a great book. Awesome, Kaylee. Yeah, I'm so glad that you told me about it. Um, Melanie's asking the name of the book. Melanie, it's called The Energy Bus. I'm reading it too. I'm about a hundred pages in and I really, really like it. It's easy flowing and the, there's no busy language. It's just really simple and it's, um, it really does get the energy moving and flowing. Just get your day going. So I do recommend it too. It's really good. Awesome. How far into it are you, Caroline? I say I'm about a hundred pages. Oh, yeah. I think I'm at um, number seven on the list. So yeah. Okay, cool. Well, we'll be starting it together on Monday um, for anyone who wants to do it. So I'm going to order mine, actually get it on audio tonight so I can have it and be ready for Monday. But all right, guys. Thank you so much for being on here tonight. Always such a pleasure to see all of you. Have a good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Thanks, Audrey. Thank you.